Here we go. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. <laughs> Let us know if you're watching today. Text 81199 or tweet at BBC R1. So the bin is gone now, isn't it? Yeah, no bin. Yeah, no to be honest, the bin was never really used anyway. It was just for show. Right, okay. So, lads, if you uh, all put a lot of water in your mouths, please. Fill your cheeks. Oh, no. Here we go. Story Kicks playing Innuendo Bingo. <laughs> this is so weird. There's so many. <laughs> right, okay. How are we, we going to hear this? Is it... Yeah. You can hear it. It's fine. Uh, right. There'll be a... The speaker will go on any second. Okay, we're just sorry. Yep. Set right. up the speaker. Here we go. There we are. Right, Ron. <laughs> right, some people are spitting already. <laughs> what? What? Nothing's happened yet. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, Tom. Tom. <laughs> What's happening? We said this guy. Oh, oh, stop it. Okay. Ready? Um. <laughs> A little bit crowd control here, Scott. I'm not right. going to lie. I know. <laughs> How's it feel, Chris? There's like six people about to spit on you. It feels, it feels fine. I just feel, um, I feel slightly. We're very close, aren't we, mm. right now? But that's, um, that's I, all yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm not well. keep getting confused. Keep thinking something. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we just, uh, we, uh, we're ready to go. Right. BBC.co.uk slash Radio 1. Let us know if you're watching. Amy is watching. She's taking a break from school. Uh, Gemma in Swindon as well. Kim and Charlie Hi. watching for the first time today. Give them a wave. Uh, and Cheska and Louise playing along to Innuendo Bingo um, while driving to Liverpool. They're not driving, but they are just playing in the back of the car. Okay, right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Too many, man. First, we go to the adventure show on BBC2. Water, please. Mm -hmm. And this woman is describing what she's up to. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I think it's better not to say what you're doing, just kind of get on with it. I'm just about to go up into a really wet looking crack. Oh, okay. Massively appealing. <laughs> 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 oh, crack. Uh, uh, yeah, that happened. I'm just about to go up into a really wet looking crack. Oh, okay. okay, thanks for that. <laughs> This is bad because we're now sitting in the water. In the water. Oh, yeah, you're oh, going to sit in puddles. Thank you, Laura in Glasgow, for spotting that one. She was well climbing done, up a, a mighty crevasse there. <laughs> oh, no. You just got me right in the face. <laughs> now we're going to Fill Your Cheeks, Radio 4, on Friday. And with bad news coming in from the Rosette space mission, Eddie Mayer makes the poor scientist here confront a, possibly, a possibility she doesn't really want to think about. Ready? Here we go. How much is this uh, backup battery a problem for you? The, the possibility of having a, a, a probe where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> Minimal spitting there. The probe needs the sun to charge its batteries, of course. Thank you, Tim, for spotting that one. Who's wettest right now? He's got his right straight in his face. <laughs> 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 to be done. <laughs> one of our favourites from last week now, and it's the Simon Mayo Show on Radio 2. Now, one of Simon's listeners was preparing for his evening, but Simon seems to have got quite the wrong idea about what people do if they haven't got a date on bonfire night. Where are the fireworks, John? Uh, at the marina here. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, are you going with anyone special, or are you just uh, going to go down on yourself? Uh, I hope my girlfriend arrives. <laughs> 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 Just What's happening, Chris? <laughs> this, is, uh, this is not good. Oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> I didn't. Th I didn't think about the possibility of you all sitting in in the water. That's, That's right. We're embracing it. Oh, no. Okay, good. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lewis is listening, driving back from his graduation. Ooh. Casey is listening at work. Watch it as well on the Radio One website. Now we're going to BBC Breakfast from the weekend now, and they really will cover any story on that show. And the amazing thing is, no matter what the topic, the presenters always keep the same kind of professional tone of voice. The average semi today is around half the size of the equivalent back <laughs> in the 1920s. <laughs> the government is saying that the standard size should be agreed upon. <laughs> there we are. The average semi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> How would you enforce such a standard? It's political correctness gone mad. Hey, James, can I have a thingy, mate? Another glass. The average semi today <laughs> is around half the size of the equivalent back in the 1920s. What's going on, Chris? 
It's just very wet here. I mean, the the main problem now is we're we're now sitting in a puddle. Yeah. Which is getting deeper. <laughs> well, I think it's going to get worse. Uh, yeah. Fill your cheeks, please. Stereo kicks. We're going to Coronation Street now. <laughs> And I think this might be Sally Webster using some kind of strange Mancunian expression that I've certainly never heard before. Over to you, Sally. Orange zest. Hey. That's the secret in the lasagna. The merest tint of orange zest. It gives it a real zing. <laughs> I suppose it was a bit zingy. What? Who puts oranges in a lasagna? I'm lucky she didn't put a banana in my tuna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no one was even listening to that. And it was a great one. Put some oranges in a lasagna. I'm lucky she didn't put a banana in my tuna sandwich. Thanks, Sally. Craig and Nikki sent that one in. Right, who's wettest right now? This is amazing. <laughs> who's wettest? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Yeah, you're, yeah. Now we're going. <laughs> all right, that's all right. That's all right, come on, fair play. Game, come on. Boys. Play nice. Over to MasterChef now. <laughs> and let's see if we can make it all the way through this one, everyone. Fill your cheeks with water. It's Judge Monica and my good friend off of Strictly, Greg Wallace, giving this nervous guy the benefit of their wisdom. See if we can make it all the way through. I don't know how to get the out of the middle. Normally people tend to take it out the back end. Right, Some people leave them in. I wouldn't leave them in, do I? Do what you think you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Jack did it. Talking about stuffing a bird there, of course. I think we we made it nearly to the end. Normally people tend to take it out the back end. Right, OK. <laughs> Thank you, Tara and Kent, for spotting that one. <laughs> this is not going to happen, is it? We're not going to make it all the way through, all of us. Has anyone bought spare clothes? No, no I've I, got my spare top, not jeans. Mm. All right, great. <laughs> my jeans. I'm just dribbling on myself. Now we're going to ITV. <laughs> on Friday night and a show called Secrets from the Sky and this historian is taking a look at an Anglo-Saxon gentleman who really knew how to turn heads back in the day. It is just so beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, it's the most amazing thing and whoever this man was, he must have made quite an impression exactly. with a helmet like that. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> With a helmet like that. That's right. <laughs> You did it. Well, Very I'm impressive. Yeah. Um, that was from uh, that was from Dan in Brighton who spotted that one. It is just so beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's the most amazing thing. And yeah. whoever yeah. this man was, he must have made quite an impression exactly. with a helmet like that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Natalie, who's just uh, listening to Ian Bingo after a very stressful exam. <laughs> Harry is watching while doing English work. Right, now to Glorious Gardens from Above on BBC Two. And here's a gardening expert who seems to really get excited about being in this particular garden. Ready, lads? Here we go. The execution of excellence in this garden is outstanding. It makes me tingle every single time I come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. That's what a garden can do for you. It makes me tingle every single time I come. Thank you, Ian and Milton Keynes, for that one. And finally, here is an all-time classic from Fern Cotton, who out of nowhere asks a shocking question to Ellie Golding. Ready? Here we go. That was so beautiful. Thanks, darling. Oh, and lovely Thank piano you. as well. It's called. What's your penis called? Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about her piano player there, of course. Listen, lads, good luck for the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming on Innuendo Bingo today. That was your Stereo Kicks Innuendo Bingo, and it was great. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.